It's a common occurrence for people to go door to door selling things, and oftentimes the people answering the door don't know who they're talking to. K Texas reporter Brenda Gibbons has more on the Clyde solicitation ordinance and how people there feel about it. The city of Clyde updated their solicitation ordinance to make sure that the people knocking on your door are who they say they are. Usually when people come up to sell me stuff, I run them off. I don't, I don't talk to them much. I said, I already have what I need. I don't need anything. The ordinance will require solicitors to register with the chief of police for a registration card before being able to go door to door. I think it would be safer for them to have a, 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 you know, like a state ID to what job they're doing and for the people to see it. I think it's a good thing. We don't really get a lot here. But uh, me and my wife, uh, you know, work daily, so if it's happening during the week, you know, we kind of get missed on that. But it is good to hear that, uh, you know, the city is going to make somebody accountable when they do come to our doors, so we at least know we're talking to somebody credible. Many residents in Clyde think the ordinance will help keep scammers away from their homes. There's been plenty of times where, you know, you get people that have a flyer and it's a deal that sounds so amazing, like a timeshare in the Poconos. And, <laughs> you know, it's nice to know that it's a legitimate business and that it's not somebody that's just trying to waste your time or take your money. It definitely makes me feel safer knowing that the police know who it is and, um, you know, that they're all in the system and they know their route and stuff. Find out more about this solicitation ordinance and who it applies to. Visit our website at ktxs.com. In Clyde, I'm Brenna Gibbons, KTexas News.